the fact you're here means that you've already done one step right which is that you've uninstalled <laughs> Streamlabs. My name is Tomo and I'm going to guide you on how to install plugins for OBS Studio. By the way, I stream on Twitch every Tuesday, Thursday and Friday. Check the link down below. Come by, you know, ask me any questions that you want. Or any, just hang out. You know, I look forward to seeing you there. On OBS, there can be two ways to install plugins. A lot of plugins have an installer file, which is usually like a .exe or a .ms site type of installer file. You just tell that installer where to install the software and you're good to go. And nine times out of 10, that works perfectly. But sometimes that might not work right. Or sometimes the plugin that you're trying to install just doesn't have an installer. But I'm gonna guide you through exactly how you can get this installed. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is head over to the obsproject.com website and go looking at all the plugins that are available. Now, most of these plugins, again, will come with an installer, but we're gonna heavily focus on just manually doing the files. So we're gonna take the plugin waveform here, for example, I don't have this installed. So here we go, on here then, we just have a pretty standard plugin. Sometimes they can have the download buttons here linked right inside them. Sometimes you have to click on the go to download button. So we're gonna click that and this one brings us to a GitHub. Don't be scared of GitHub, it's quite easy. So literally, so this one does have a .exe setup, but again, we're gonna go for the zip file. So that's exactly what we're gonna download. And sometimes you may as well get like a certain warning. It's completely fine, just keep it. And now you can see here you have two folders, data and OBS plugins. And this is super easy to actually do. So with that open, you also want to open up another file explorer. You can all do it in the same one. I'm just laying it out like this just to make it a bit easier for you guys to see. And what you want to do is you want to navigate to where your OBS is actually installed. So most of the time it's going to be under C, Program Files and OBS Studio but I'm gonna use a different folder just because I have OBS installed in multiple places just to be able to teach you guys this type of stuff. So over here, I'm gonna go in here, then the OBS Studio folder, the exact same as previously. We literally have the data and OBS plugins. The first things first, we're gonna have to extract these. So let's just extract these, that's just, yet. Yeah, do it there, that's completely fine, however. And then what you wanna do is just take those files and just drag them straight in there. You're gonna replace them is it's not going to actually delete anything that's currently inside them. So if you have other plugins, it's not going to play with them, right? So now we've done that. Now let's launch OBS. Yeah, so now we have our OBS launch and we're looking at it here. We can check to see if that plugin actually installed. So we know it's not a filter or anything like that. We know it's a source. So we can just right click, add, and waveform visualizer. This is exactly what the plugin was. So now we're going to select our audio source, could be whatever. This is really just kind of turning into a tutorial here by itself now, but I just want to show you guys that it actually works. Okay, and now when I talk, there you go, you can see it. So this plugin now fully actually works. So it's really that easy. If the plugin doesn't have an installer, you can just go by this way. I hope this helped you get a grasp on installing plugins for OBS, and I hope that you never have to go back to Streamlabs ever again. Again, if you're looking for more in-depth tutorials, over here we have stream.bot, a nice tutorial there to teach you how to integrate your stream a lot better. And right over there is how you can do a barrel roll in it, just to kind of give you an example of all the awesome stuff that you can do. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.